Let's see. Where do I start? Back then, I began every morning with my face glued to a screen. Can you believe I once lived that way? I'd sit for hours in those virtual meetings, never really doing anything, sitting in my chair, wasting my time. For what? Walking the streets, I'd feel so alone amidst the crowd. Every face, every eye was lost in a digital realm. I was alone, even though my screen showed hundreds of friends online. They didn't know me. They didn't care. One day I reached out to some of those friends. I was not doing well. I needed help. But the responses, the responses were empty. Echoes of concern, emojis, superficial condolences. It was in that stark silence, amidst the sea of hollow words, that I realized how alone I truly was. It was in that stark silence that I realized something had to change. My heart yearned for something genuine, a connection that went beyond likes and comments, something palpably real. In that moment of profound isolation, I knew I had to leave. Leave and find a place where friendship wasn't just a number. I had heard of a group a group that lived outside the city, a group that had forsaken technology. Everyone thought they were crazy, but I was desperate, desperate for a change, desperate to feel something. And so I left to find them. At first, it wasn't easy. Food, water, a house over my head. I had taken it all for granted. My first encounters with wildlife were tense. Their untamed nature frightened me. Now I know squirrels don't bite. Usually. Nights were the hardest. I was lonelier than ever, and the insects and creatures of the night kept me awake. It took me a while. But I got used to it. I learned to find it comforting even. Gradually, step by step, I adjusted to my new life. I started to love my newfound freedom. My time was entirely my own. My attention was no longer devoted to other people's fake, virtual lives. I started living in the moment. I started appreciating the beauty all around me. I even started seeing the beauty in myself. Still, there was an emptiness. I needed people. As beautiful as nature is, it wasn't what drew me out of the city. Days passed. Weeks. Rain came and went. I almost turned back. The adventure wasn't very fun anymore. And I was starting to doubt these people even existed. Then, then came a sign from above. Literally. The finish line was in sight. I knew where to go. Now I just needed to get there. With the destination finally in sight, hope returned. My feet hurt a little less, and my stomach felt a little less empty. I was so close I could taste it. I'd come so far, but before I could make it, I collapsed. I thought that was it. That was where my journey ended. I'd come so far, only to end up as alone as when I'd started. When I finally closed my eyes, I thought that would be the last time. Anyways, that's how I met your mother. Thais, I think he's awake. 